you're like, oh, I'm a little bit scared. You know, I'm going to have some speedlings out there. Uh, you know, maybe that you just can't quite overrun it. But against right. this, where he's like, well, I'm going to make 40 drones before a gas. Then suddenly he just has this huge production boost and eventually breaks through. So, you know, I feel like it's just two different styles from two different areas of the world clashing and Luceras is winning out. Yeah, I, I think so right now. Lucira is just handling this very well. And I think you're dead on with the metagame comment as well, Artosis. Thank you, uh, In case you guys are wondering, the observing might look different from GSL. I am observing here at this MLG. You're doing a good job so I'm far. I'm trying to do my best here, guys. I dropped the ball oh. tasteless earlier, but you're good. Here we go. Oh, here we nice go. Counter counter. The army is out here. Remember what the base is oh. naked. He is in a lot of trouble, Tasteless. Trying to get those SUVs out. And... There he goes. Oh, that was actually a nice move. That was a nice dive. move to yeah. actually try to go back to the main. I brought him back to the expansion. And in fact, the Zerglings aren't going to do nearly as much as they look like they would. Beautiful uh, control there by TLO to pull his SCVs in such ways. Still going to lose quite a bit. And one of the most important things, aside from these people's faces, is any real timing on his attack. He actually sent the SCVs up here. That's an interesting move. But that's a lot of lost mining time, Artosis. And there already are mutas out. Look at that. That's actually a lot of mutas, Tasteless. We are up to 13 mutas flying across this map. Huge economy for Lucira. And, of course, he did expand during all of this as well. And the, with the mutas coming in, there's no missile turrets quite yet, Tasteless. But here come those Marines. Don't forget there's no medevacs out right now. Every stim is going to count. It's going to hurt. Oh, man. Yeah, those Marines are pretty well damaged at this point. This is not good for TLO. Absolutely not good for him at all. And the Marines have to stim again. And Lucira just has to fly away. And TLO, his army is being decimated. Now, here you can see a lot of damage being inflicted on the Marines. Even though the units are being chased out, the real issue here is the fact that all these Marines, let's take a look over here. Uh, oops, okay. That's a bad example. <laughs> oh my god, this is chaos. We there try it one more time. Sorry guys, we didn't disable the Windows key, I guess. We're <laughs> back here in the game. <laughs> we apologize for that. Look, oh, that was a nice desktop. All right, let me show you guys. All these Marines here took a lot of damage uh, being forced to stim like that. So his medevacs not going to be as useful. Meanwhile, the Sierra continuing to, to um, you know, Rank out uh, a lot more mutas, a lot more creep tumors taking up the map. TLO's in a lot of trouble, Artosis. It's 150 yeah. supply from Lucera to the 107. It, look at that of mini TLO. Map. Look at how many creep tumors he actually has. It's, it's just actually insane. insane. Look at that. Look at that. Look, look at that, man. Taste some point at it. Look if, at it. If those are pimples, we need clear cell artosis. You need more than that, man. You need to go see a dermatologist. Yeah, no kidding. Maybe get on some Accutane well, or something. Well, TLO right now needs a Zergatologist because that is the <laughs> only way he's going to figure out how to beat Lucira from here. Lucira up at 167 supply. And a Thor pops out a good choice because there are a lot of units out there. It's going to definitely help. Nice. Getting a lot of units here. Oops. Lucira losing a, yeah, a little bit sloppy. Good Lucera move by TLO. Lucira But let's face it. Zerg <laughs> almost maxed out. Hatchery on the way over here. As you can see, Getting a sizable force, lots of drones everywhere on the Zerg map. Still at layer. The mutas continue to do more damage here, harassing. And turrets do not die when they're repaired by SCVs. Nope, not at all. The muta's gonna run out of there. Those Marines, man, they have taken a lot of stimming damage. In fact, you could probably just kill them all right now if it weren't for that Thor. So Lucero will have to fly away with his mutas, but he is making 39 Banelings tasteless. Oh my god. Do you know god. how many Banelings that is, Tasteless? How many? That is so many Banelings. Oh my god. And this is like... Oh man. TLO, I'm like counting his Siege Shanks right now. He has one. <laughs> Guess what? That's not even Siege Shanks. That's Siege Tank. I'm counting his Siege Tank right his now. His Siege one. Tank not pluralized. Yeah. So, Meanwhile, uh, Sarah oof. transferring a ton of drones. His income about to explode yet again. Another expansion being taken over here. The creep almost pushed into the turf of TLO. TLO, his builds are smart, they're sneaky, but are they effective enough to beat somebody who is simply put so solid? That's that's the question, Tasteless. And so far today, the answer has been no, but you never know. It's only one match so far. Lucira, though, he's taking the map. He's going to be maxed basically on Banelings. Uh, oh. 
I will just say that you just kind of attack Hugo's man, even with the uh, Marines yeah. running away, the Thor, the Siege Inc., those will all die. That is my god, look at that. That, that is, is a so ludicrous many. amount of Banelings. In fact, right now, he has 94 Banelings, and he's gonna go up over 100 as he's half. Well, over 100. <laughs> Let's go, yeah, it's 99 Banelings right now. Uh oh, this could be bad. Oh my. He's moving out. He's closing in. He scans. Oh, that is too many banelings. <laughs> to like, this is not so many like, too, too many, many banelings. Too many banelings coming Here down. And these are going to destroy absolutely everything. There is just a green wave of death. It it's looks like a tsunami like of banelings. Gag over here. Oh my. They're going to go Look all the way to that. GG. Liquid PLO has oh. no, no other option but to tap out with a GG. Man, you know, uh, TLO is good, but there's something kind of too gimmicky about his style, I think, sometimes. That's a good build, but not in that map. In those positions, do you, you know, agree? Maybe. Maybe. Again, I think it may fall on the metagame a bit more. Yeah. Maybe he's not used to the superpowering well, of Lucera. Well, on that map, they just defend, defend, defend. That's quite true. Um, you know... If you can power that much and get away with it, he hits it just right. You know, he gets like 40 drones, and then he starts units. And it's like, against a timing attack, as long as you stop making drones at just the right time, you're going to be ahead. Well, if you notice, um, you know, he sent out the four Hellions, and how did Lucera respond? A weaker Zerg would have made a ton of Zerglings try to surround the Hellions. Uh, Lucera makes the hatchery and the evolution chamber and puts a queen there to make a wall and makes mm. one spine crawler. That's, that's a good move. That's all you have to do. You want to counter what your opponent does you're as actually lightly as possible you're in that way. You're going for economics in a situation where, you know, I, I don't know, it, just, it, it was a perfect response. So, all right, that does it for now. We are going to be back soon. Uh, I can't give you the exact time right now. Hopefully it will be pretty soon. Uh, with our Should next match, quick. we've got to get the players rotated around, put them on different computers. So uh, we'll be back soon here at the uh, MLG. I'll see you guys again in just a little bit.